Hey guys, Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So today I'm going to bring you an unboxing and a brief overview of the EVGA CLC 280 liquid cooling CPU cooler. So this bad boy has RGB lights on the water block. It supports retention mechanisms for Intel LGA 2011, 2011V3, 1150, 1151, 1155, 1156, and 1356, and supposedly it's going to support future Intel CPUs as well, but it doesn't stop just there. It also supports AMD, so it supports socket AM2, AM3, FM1, FM2, and like I said before, it's supposed to support newer variants of those CPUs, which actually, they do support AM4 as well, but if it doesn't come in the box, you need to order it and they'll give it to you for free, which is pretty cool. But anyway, come over here real quick and let's see what's inside. Here she is again, the EVGA CLC 280 liquid cooling CPU cooler RGB LED cooling unit. So I'm going to go ahead and just unbox it for you real quick. Whoa, almost cut my hand off. And I go to all the Boy Scout meetings with my son, and they say, don't cut towards yourself. And what did I do? <laughs> all right, so I'm just going to take off all this plastic. All right, so front of the box, plain back, black, oops, sorry. Plain black in usual EVGA fashion, closed loop CPU cooler, Radiator 280X 140mm. Alright, and the top kind of just go, shows you the actual unit itself. Here's the uh, EVGA RGB water block and the radiator itself with the fans. Up here, talks about a little bit about the cooler itself. Alright, the back, just plain black. The uh, UPC serial number and all that good stuff right there and all their certificates. The bottom is just plain black. Nothing good, nothing bad, just plain black. The side, the cardboard EVGA. The other side, the cardboard EVGA. So what I'm going to do is just slide it out of here. And I don't know why it's so difficult. So, it is just the sleeve, so nothing else in there. The back, or should I say, the inside cardboard kind of shows the same thing the black piece had. Um, actually, all the way around, obviously that was the part that was already there. And the same thing, so the outside is the same thing, or the out, outside sleeve is the inside, the same as the box inside. So, just for dramatic purposes, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this seal open. And I'll go ahead and open it. Alright, I'm going to put the box back here just for now. And, um... Here we have the little installation guide, CPU closed loop water cooling kit. Now this gives you basic instructions on every single piece that's in the box itself. And then it gives you basic instructions on how to install it. Inside of a review that I'm doing, I'm also going to have a video on how to put this into your unit. I'm going to be installing this onto the EVGA Z270 motherboard, the FTW K board, along with a, an Intel Core i7-7700K. It's going to be all in one review, and then of course each and every individual piece is going to get its review, and each and every piece is going to have its individual uh, installation video. Okay, and then the back. Just important information and warranty for the EVGA CPU closed loop water cooling kit. 
just a basic one pager. And let's start taking things out. All right, so the box itself is empty. All right, so here in this baggie here, they have the retention mechanisms. All right, these little guys, oh, these little guys here. All right, that is for plugging into a, a back plate, so they include a back plate as well, okay? That's not only for that back plate, but if your motherboard already has a back plate, this will screw right into it. All right, those are, that's for mounting it. And then they have a bunch of screws and washers right here. And don't worry, the review is also going to have individual pictures of everything here. All right, some more components here. And then this is for you AMD guys out there. So don't worry, even though EVGA doesn't really sell AMD components, they do, uh, they do love you guys and they give you AMD guys some support as well. All right, so I'm just going to put that aside for now. Then they have this little cable here. I assume this is going to be for regulation and for using their EVGA flow control software. That way they can regulate the fan speed and you know just keep an eye on the temperatures and everything. So definitely don't want to lose this little cable. And I may not have a way of pulling this out cleanly. Alright. Okay, so nothing else in this big piece of foam. And all sides are solid. There you go. Just wanted to show you that. So first off, I noticed that these tubes are, are braided. Look at that, that looks nice. Just to add a little, uh, I love that smell. Okay, so <laughs> just to make things look a little bit nicer. So it does come pre-applied with thermal paste. This thermal paste is made by Shinetsu. I will be using this paste. Um, you have to imagine when EBGA tests this, they do a lot of overclocking and they do a lot of performance tests and everything. So they're not going to give you some really horrible thermal paste. They're gonna give you some good stuff. And then coming out from, and actually I didn't show it to you. This is the water block itself. Right there. It is, it does have a piece of film over it. It is RGB illuminated, LED illuminated, so you can change the colors and everything. And that will work with the EVGA flow control software. Uh, from there, from that software, you can update the fan speed curve, the lighting right over here, the pump control profiles, and a bunch of other stuff. And then over here, they have right here, 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 and here. That is to retain it, to screw it in right there on the back plate. That's to keep the the uh, water block on there nice and tight. Coming from this, there are these, and actually they label it, which is great. This one right here says to motherboard. So this guy connects to the motherboard. And these go to the fans, this as well. So the fans that are going to be on the radiator right over here. And I'm making sure to not take this piece of plastic off. I've already taken it off, but I put it right back on when I was done explaining it. By the way, this bottom piece right over here, the actual cold, uh, cold plate itself, is 100% copper for a maximum heat transfer. Make sure your CPU is nice and cool. And, um, and then here goes that, that USB cable that I was showing you. 
this goes right over here into the motherboard itself. So I'm going to put that down. And then it comes shielded in this black piece of cardboard. See that there? And the radiator is nice and cool, feels nice to the touch. This is a 312 by 139 millimeter radiator. It is 27 millimeters thick. And then we have also the 140 millimeter fans. Now these are a little bit different than what you and I might be used to. So they look like regular 140 millimeter fans, but actually they have a curved housing. See that right over here? So this improves airflow uh, throughout the radiator and limits vibration and noise. All right, now one thing you have to be careful of when you're installing it is this is either going to go on the ceiling of your case, on the front of the case, maybe on the back of the case, or maybe on the bottom of the case. You have to make sure that cables don't fall in there because then that fan's not going to spin and you're going to have a, uh, a temperature issue. But anyway, um, so you can see that here. Again, they don't have real walls. They have basic walls, if anything, to reinforce the, uh, the screws here into the actual radiator itself. So, and these fans will spin from a low of 600 RPM all the way up to 2200 RPMs, um, an airflow of 113.50 CFM, and then a static air pressure of 4.20 MMAQ. That's pressure units millimeters of aqua or water. Uh, same thing as millimeters of water. A noise level of anywhere between 16.0 uh, dBA up to a max of 39.5 dBA. So it's pretty quiet. It also has a lifespan of 80,000 hours. That's pretty nice. It also uh, comes with a five-year, of course, limited part uh, warranty. They're not going to cover if you uh, break this in half on your knee because you get upset that you lost the game. It's your fault. Anyway, <laughs> but um, looks like a nice unit. And then over here, they have there the serial number, UPC, and all that good stuff there. And they also have the part number. And that's basically it. Again, in that full review that I'm going to be doing with the EVGA 270 FTW K board, I will be doing thermal testing. I will also be doing thermal uh, overclocking along with uh, base speeds just to show you guys how good this is or maybe how bad it is. I would assume it's good, but you know, I'm not going to be biased. It could be horrible. Anyway, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger do, doing an unboxing and a brief overview of the EVGA CLC 280 liquid cool CPU cooler unit. Again, with RGB LED lights right up here on the EVGA logo. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys.